Hello there! Welcome to this second part of the series where we're making a character controller that will act somewhat like the character controller in my action RPG game. Last time we worked on character movement and today we're going to make this camera be able to rotate around our player because this is a very boring, very static camera angle and it just doesn't work particularly well. We already made a follow player script which only has one line of code, so if you didn't see the last episode, that is entirely fine. Because the only line of code we have here is just to parent it indirectly to the player character. Let's start off with adding a couple more serialized fields here. Uh, one is going to be a float for the mouse speed, which is the speed at which the camera can move. We'll by default set that to 3, that's the setting that I use in my game. And another serialized field as well another float which will be the orbit dampening or damping I, I can't type that's fine which we'll set to in this case 10. We're going to be using these two variables in the math to come. It's not as complicated as it sounds though so don't worry. And we'll also add a vector 3 that we'll call local rotation. We're going to change the local rotation dot x to be plus equals, not just equals, we're going to add to whatever value it is right now by input dot get axis. And the axis that we'll be using is called mouse x multiplied by our mouse speed. So every frame, this will look at how much our mouse has moved since the last frame in the x axis and add to our local rotation x based on that. And of course we're going to do the same for the local rotation y and use the mouse y axis. This is entirely up to you but for the up and down, also for the left and right if you want to, uh, you can invert the controls if you just use minus equals instead. I personally think a plus equals for x and minus equals for y feels the best. But well, depending on what type of game you're making, depending on what kind of thing you want your players to experience, your mileage, of course, may vary. Now, your Y rotation, which is the rotation up and down, can now go through the floor and also over top of your character, which is not ideal, because when it goes through the floor, you're going to be clipping through the floor, that's going to look unpolished, because it is unpolished. And if you allow the camera to go over top, of your character, the entire view will start being upside down, which is also not what we want. So we're going to clamp this. We're going to say our local rotation dot y is equals to a math function called clamp, where we'll add in three values. First, the value that we're clamping, which is local rotation y. Then the minimum value, which is going to be a zero f it just means zero degrees f because it's a float and then you can go up to 90 i prefer clamping it a little before 90 degrees so i like using 80 degrees for this now your y rotation will always be between the values of zero and 80. it can't go below zero so it can't go through the floor it can't go over 80 so it can't be exactly like looking down at your character or even flip over after that we're going to add a quaternion uh, call it whatever you want, QT is short, I, I find. <laughs> and the autofill in this case entirely correct, we're going to be uh, using quaternion.euler, local rotation x, local rotation y, and zero. Real quick, you do want to watch out because I did say the autofill here was correct. It's actually not, we want to change the uh, y and the x around. So our x values are going to be our local rotation y, our y value is going to be our local rotation x. That's mostly because number one, quaternions are weird. Number two, Unity's direction is also weird. This will turn our vector three and our separate axes into a quaternion which is used for rotation in Unity because it's long and technical and I'm not going to pretend like I understand quaternions fully. But basically, it's a better way to rotate 3D objects. Right now, though, we uh, have yet to actually rotate this object around because we've made a quaternion variable, but we're not using it yet. So we're going to set our transform rotation. We can just set it equal to QT, and that'll be fine. 
But in order for this to be a little bit smoother, what you can do is you can go quaternion dot loop and we'll get our current transform rotation. We'll loop to our QT quaternion in a time of uh, time dot delta time multiplied by our orbit damping variable. These are your lines of code. Everything there is to having an orbiting camera. So now when we go back into the game, we'll be able to see that we can, in fact, orbit around our object. But it's a little weird, right? And that's because we want the camera object uh, to be not rotated, which at the moment it's not. That's great. So first and foremost, let's position this camera to be a little bit better. Rule of thumb is your position needs to be at, at zero. And then your Y position doesn't matter. That's the height. And then the Z position is the distance from the player. Now, our empty game object spawned in a really weird location. So if we just push that around a little bit, better yet, just copy the position and paste it onto our empty game object. We'll be exactly orbiting around our cube. And we can't go over this far. and We can't go below this far. Only issue being is if we rotate it around a little bit, you can see that our movement is very much independent of where the camera is and that is very confusing you're going to want your movement to be depending on where the camera is which is what the next video will be all about in this series and after we've done that you have a functional 3d character controller if you want to see the final result of all these three parts so that's the movement the camera orbits and the relative movement to the camera all three in one project, the final version of what we're doing here. You can go down below in the description to my Patreon. There will be a download link to the full project and you can play around with it all you like.